it's so important for us in our fight for staying in the league. They are pushing like a team which uh, deserves to be in Alsvenska next year. The Stockholm Derby was a cracker last Sunday and four days after it here we go again. A less hyped but equally historical derby on the west coast in the second biggest city of Sweden, Göteborg. If you're new on the channel, a warm welcome to HFV. If you're around for a while, you know how much I adore Swedish supporter culture and also that I've been to this city many many times to create football content, mainly about the city's most popular team, IFK Göteborg. It's not the 18 times champions today, however, but two rival teams. We are visiting the oldest derby in Sweden, which is quite logically called Original Debut. Round 24 of Superettan Sweden's second tier Örgruta Idrottsällskap, also known as Öis, are facing Göteborg's Atlet och Idrottsällskap, also known as Geis. The away team Geis are the second most popular team in the city behind the FK Göteborg, and the home team Öis, founded in 1887, are the oldest association football club in Sweden. As it's the oldest derby in the country, featuring the oldest team as well, it's obligatory to mention that their first meeting took place in 1897. It resulted in a 2-0 Öis victory. There were times when the city of Göteborg was the football capital of Sweden, and having four or five teams in the top flight. Those days are gone since Öis haven't seen the daylight of Allsvenskan since their relegation in 2009 and guys haven't been up in the top flight either since 2012. They can go up this year though because they are on the third place which means promotion playoffs. Insanely important game for them today. The exact same applies to Öis as currently before the game after half of the league played yesterday they can find themselves on a relegation spot. Direct relegation, not even playoffs. A derby which can decide the fate of two rivals. There can be two tiers between the two next year. Nearing the end of the season, there couldn't be more at stake, really. Against the odds, Ois won against Guys earlier this season, away. Away on paper, because they are actually sharing their stadium. But the last 10 head to head statistics are balanced with three victories each and four draws. Our venue today, Gamla Ulevi, can host 18,000 people. Around 11k are expected today. The stadium is the home of EF Göteborg, Guys and the Swedish women's national football team and has a hybrid surface. I have vlogged these two teams before actually, Ois once, guys twice. For those videos I'd recommend you to check out the Sweden playlist link 2 in the description box below. There will be both an Ois and a guys march, let's see which one will join. Nushövi. John Scott's stable and John Scott's palace. The first one is the meeting point of the away supporters guys, as you see they are in front of me. And the palace, which is only 170 meters away, is the meeting area of the home supporters. They're pretty close, I must say. All this is in uh, central Gothenburg, next to the avenue, by the way. And the stadium is also not really far from the central station, the railway station, about five minutes walk. So everything is basically connected close to each other. Young guys supporters are joining me for the first interview of the Derby Day. First of all, guys, are you going to get promoted end of this Super Etan season? Yes, I think yes. so. Do you have any family members who support other teams like Öis, CF Göteborg, Hecken or only guys? Not, no. my, not my family, they hate IFK. My your... sister uh, uh, is uh, supporting Hecken and that's not good. And we carry on straight away to the Öis area. This is their pub, John Scott's Palace, next to Nurstan, the shopping mall. Here we are. After the tram goes by, because yeah, being hit is, uh, is not so advantageous before vlogging a game. <laughs> First Ois interviews here as well. Are you going to manage to stay in the league? Because pretty desperate position now before the derby. 
Yeah, I, I think we managed to stay in the Super Atan. We managed it uh, last year. I think we'll manage it uh, this year as well. You won the last game against guys, but they are in a much better position. They are fighting for promotion. How do you see the chances today in the game? Yeah, it's a tough one. I don't really know. We're struggling right now in the uh, in league, but uh, a derby is a derby. Anyone can win. So I'll, I'll bet my my cash on uh, Örgüte. You guys are running a podcast about Öis. Tell the viewers a bit about that. Well, uh, we started the podcast in uh, 2020 uh, during the coronavirus uh, because we thought that this kind of talks that happens on the bars and everything, it's it's not a thing right now. So we wanted to uh, spread the word about Agrit and uh, talk about it together. Yeah. How many times do you record? Like a month? After every game maybe? Yeah, after every game and we try to like fill in with some bonus episodes with like interviews with old players or interviews with current players. Just uh, get out as much content as uh, possible. Are we going to manage to stay in Super Etan? I really hope so. We have a tough time now, but I hope we can uh, at least get a qualification spot. This derby is probably the most important in so many years is because firstly we have like guys in their position probably going to Allsvenskan but if we beat them today maybe we'll stop them from doing that yeah, it's and if we and if we get three points it's so important for us in our fight for staying in the league it's for sure it's a special derby it's it's something you don't get to see often I mean guys is fighting for going up in the, the highest tier of Swedish football and we're trying to survive in the second tier so of course it's it's something that we, we, we we're not used to this kind of situation but we just uh, try to to be brave and to uh, to sing three points target and we're hoping for for a win because it's mandatory for for us to survive in this league and survive well not maybe in Swedish football because probably we'll all, always get back but for sure it's a, it's a hard situation if we get down in the 30 and that's something we really don't want. So welcome again on the channel, it hasn't been that long at all. First of all congrats for the derby win and you're here in Göteborg now. What do you think about the derby? Is it your first time for uh, Original Derbyt? Yes, uh, it actually is. I'm really looking forward for this one. I think it's the oldest derby as well. It is, yeah, with uh, Öis being the oldest association football club in Sweden. It's going to be a fun, fun game to watch live, so, so I'm really excited for this game. <laughs> the score today can you win the derby unlike the previous one uh, i think 4-1 to guys 4-1 uh, 3-1 to guys who will score those four goals you think i think merman shell is gonna score two and then i think all homes are gonna score one and uh it's gonna do a uh, own goal one nil to uh, argite or two nil scorers eddie and uh, noah christopherson i think we will win two nil i think we'll win uh, three to two I think uh, we will win 1-0 again, the same uh, result as in the previous derby. Uh, it will be a tough game, it will be a messy game, we will be, be, uh, it will be physical, but uh, in the end we will be the winners. 1-0. Exactly like a derby should be. Well guys, thank you very much and keep up the good work with the podcast. Enjoy the game. My first uh, thought was about uh, guys is going to destroy Agrite, but I think... Uh, Örgryte will take this, as they did in the last derby, so, so I say 2-1 Örgryte. Do you think they'll stay in Super then? I hope so. I will. Uh, it's, a, it's a classic team in Sweden, so I, I would like to see them in Allsvenskan in a few years, so, so I hope they will... Uh, and are guys going up? Last question. I think they will. I think they will. <laughs>
place over there. It's um, yeah. I don't. I, I thought they have an old march actually, but they are here apparently. Police. The Oyes March finishes right there, and the Guys March is actually behind me, pretty close. I mean, you you could expect that if the pubs are like two streets separate from each other. Statue of Gunnar Grand. He played for all the three rival clubs in Gothenburg. Here we have all the three crests of the clubs playing here. Three really big rivals, guys, EF Göteborg and Ois. The logo is in the middle, EF Göteborg. You have a fan shop at the stadium. You have guys and Ois on the two sides and today it's guys against Ois. Some of the supporters have to stay in front of the fan shop of the eternal rivals. Interesting stuff. Not too many going inside here, so we are early enough to enter really smoothly as for now an empty stadium, but more than half of it will be filled for this derby.
the way in Oregano del Boot. Absolutely terrible uh, performance from Ace in the first half. They were caught twice. They weren't that bad actually, but the guys just 
took the opportunity when it came. So credit to them for that. They're leading 2-0 after a goal in the 19th and the 36th minute. The TFOs were pretty good. So delighted with that as well. I don't really see Oase turning it around in the second half. Guys aren't on top of their game, I think, but they are really efficient. And that's what it counts eventually. Let's see about the second half. I think we're going to see some more goals. Some more Grunswald goals, but uh, prove me wrong. Let's go. Before we carry on with the vlog, a short service message. You probably guessed that creating all this content abroad takes up quite much time and money. It wouldn't even be possible without generous supporters offering me a place to stay every now and then. If you have the possibility, please support my work by hitting the thanks button below the video. You can patronize the creation of future HFV videos by that with an amount you choose yourself. Another possibility for this is the channel's Patreon page which you can see on screen and find in the description as well. If you have no intention of sending money to the channel, it's already a huge help. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I know there are many teenager football supporters watching this channel. In case you're one of them, ignore what I just said about sending cash. Spend it rather on yourself, your friends or buy a new scarf of your favorite team. At your age, I was told to do the same. Thank you very much for your help in advance. Let's carry on with the game. Spectacular Ois Pyro show in the beginning of the second half, despite being down. Obviously, it's independent from that. The referee pauses the game for it. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that much of smoke. It looked really good, and obviously it's the referee's decision, so uh, the game is now paused for like three minutes, but I think we're gonna carry on soon. No way, what a terrible keeper mistake. It was a semi good, no, it wasn't even a good free kick, it was a bad free kick. And it goes through the keeper's legs. And this could be the goal which brings Oiz back in the game. And how, how loud the limbs were, really, I was surprised by that. And the uh, Samba Urgute, Samba de Janeiro, the goal celebration song as well. Now we have goals from both sides, and uh, the game is now really interesting because it's tied again against the odds because this was only on the keeper. The sparkle of hope didn't last really long for Ois. 20 minutes into the second half, guys make the 3-1 after a corner from the right side. A semi-good header to the far post, they are bossing this game now.
Thanks, big carry on. Another goal after the interruption, photo simulation now for race. 
only their most loyal supporters are saying here, look at that. Pretty to guys because they are pushing like a team which uh, deserves to be in Al Svenska next year. in the 103rd minute, one minute before the end, not being for an inaccurate pass. They most probably are indeed going up. We stayed an hour longer than expected because of the interruption, this is always a possible outcome in fierce derbies. Guys scored one more to finish off Ois after the interruption, they are now massive contenders for promotion, it wasn't a surprise that they were chanting constantly, guys is going up, guys is going up, yeah they will probably as well. Especially because the team above them, Utsikten, are in terrible form. Utsikten were top of the table for a large part of the season, but they got now only one point in their last five games. So guys are going up I believe, and they deserve it as well the way they were playing. Ois 
drop to the bottom of the table because of the effect of that last goal after the interruption. And because of that, their goal difference dropped one, so they are now bottom of the table. In the remaining six rounds, they have quite tough opponents as well, including three teams in the current top five. I think they'll be delighted if they eventually get the chance for a relegation playoff. It's not what their supporters deserve, who gave me a really warm welcome, by the way. Thank you very much, guys, for that. Tifo's fierce game, March, great atmosphere. After the Stockholm Derby, this was a quite complete match day experience just as well. Thank you very much for all the interviews. I hope you guys like the content. If so, join me on the channel's social media accounts options on screen. Don't forget to check out the Sweden playlist, link two, and the Stockholm Derby documentary, link one, in the description box below. I was HFV, VCS, Nesta Gong. Take care, guys. Bye.